got another self-contained reach-in freezer down um so i found that switch off i'm just testing to see if we got main power coming into the unit and we don't so now i gotta find the breaker found the breaker um it was off it wasn't tripped but it was off um so that's that's kind of interesting kind of makes me wonder but there was no history um this is just disgusting it's dirty the coils packed it's just thing needs the thing needs a good cleaning um but that i don't think that would cause the breaker to trip that would most likely cause the overload to trip so <laughs> i'm digging a little deeper someone recently changed these start components i called the supply house to verify that these were the correct starting components because um that could cause the compressor to overamp trip maybe possibly trip the breaker but then again that to me most likely would just cause the overload of the trip they uh, everything was right except the capacitor they put a 50 microfarad in supposed to be a 45 i found the 45 sitting inside of the panel so um this, now i'm just testing that 45 to see if that uh, 45 microfarad capacitor is good or not and it um, did test out good, so I ended up swapping that out. I took the 50 out and put that 45 back in because everything else was right. Um, and basically just reset it. Reset, turn the breaker back on to test it, to see what's going on with this unit because uh, this unit's acting, some, something's not right. And um, we don't have any history on it. They claim nobody's worked on it, which is nonsense, but whatever. This coil's definitely got to get cleaned. It's packed. So it tripped the breaker. It ran for a little while. It tripped the breaker. Something's not right. Um, so now um, I reset it where uh, the lock rotor was 86. We're allowed to pull 11 amps. So now I'm going to reset it and see what's happening. Um, turned it on. I'm only putting, getting about 1 amp. And that is most likely from the condenser fan motors uh, because they're wired and off basically off the compressor so um, it's not looking too good that motor that the compressor got smoking hot immediately got smoking hot and went into overload so um, something's going on with it something's happening it's at this point now it's just it's not even running it's not doing nothing but it is out on overload i'm just testing the other the other um line of amperage which i'm getting one amp which is again most likely from the compressor fan motors but i got a trick for that um overload being tripped i'll take this um bad dice right here and uh because i'm allowed to do stuff like that you know <laughs> just set it down on that compressor cool that baby off and continue testing man because i right now it's looking like we got a bad compressor i just want to verify it so i want to get that overload to close because right now that overload is open and i'm not going to be able to get the proper resistance readings so i'm going to get that overload to close and so i can own this compressor out properly and i gotta pull this thing out a little bit more just to get that bag i want that i want that bag that i sitting on top of the uh, of the so um, I'm going to have to pull this thing out a little bit more. I don't want to really kink those lines or pull those lines too much, but I got to do what I got to do. So I pull those lines a little bit, give me a little bit more room to pull the thing out. And uh, I'm going to pull the compressor, the condenser section out more, get that bag that I sitting on top of there and um, let it cool off and let it do its thing. Couldn't get it out one hand. <clears throat> Things were kind of jammed, kind of stuck, so... I had to set y'all down for a second, pull it out. Pulled it out, <clears throat> got that bag dice on top of there where I want it, and now it's time to let it chill. It's time to let it do its thing. And this is how you test a single phase compressor. It's pretty simple. So, whatever your um, start to run resistance reading is always going to be your highest. Common to start and common to run should equal whatever resistance you get on start to run. So from start to run on here, I got 3.7 ohms of resistance. And then common to start, I got 3 ohms as well. So, so far, not looking too good. So then I did common to run, ended up with 1.4. 
So you add those two numbers up and I ended up with 4.4. This compressor is bad because remember, they have to add up and equal whatever start to run was. And my start to run was 3.7. So I was over that. I was 4.4 total, which means this compressor is no good and needs to be replaced. So this compressor will be written up for replacement as well as all of the start components. And that is the end of that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe for more.